Herpes is a mucocutaneous infection that can affect the genital area or the face. The virus can reactivate, causing symptoms to reoccur. There are two types of herpes virus. Type 1 is mainly responsible for, for what are known as cold sores, while the other, type 2, is responsible for genital herpes. Occasionally, type 1 can affect the genitals, just as type 2 can affect the face. Genital herpes is quite common. Roughly 50% of the adult population are believed to be infected with herpes simplex type 2. The genital herpes virus is transmitted through sexual contact, whether it involves direct contact with the genitals or with infected bodily fluids. The time of greatest risk for communicating or contracting herpes is when the infected person is experiencing an outbreak. The infected individual usually notices the onset of an outbreak by the common symptoms, but can also spread the virus without experiencing symptoms. The people most at risk of contracting herpes are those who have multiple sex partners, as well as those who don't use a condom or have another sexually transmitted infection. A typical outbreak begins with a tingling sensation in the affected area, followed by a redness or swelling. From several hours to days later, a cluster of small blisters appear. An outbreak lasts on average five to seven days. However, many infected individuals experience no symptoms. The first occurrence of herpes with, with symptoms is usually the most severe and longest lasting. It can cause a generalized reaction with fever, vomiting, and muscle aches, and with swollen glands in the groin. If a woman has a recurrence of herpes during pregnancy, the newborn can, can be infected during childbirth. However, the risk of infection is low if no active lesions is detected in the weeks and days before childbirth. Herpes is generally diagnosed by interviewing the patient and conducting a physical exam. To confirm a diagnosis, we can also take a sample from the lesions and do a viral culture test, but remember, if the diagnosis is positive, a negative result from this test does not mean that the patient is free of the virus. A blood test is also available. Regrettably, there is no treatment that can cure herpes, but medicine that can reduce the length of an outbreak and alleviate the symptoms. You can reduce the risk of contracting herpes but by avoiding oral sex if your partner has a cold sore, and avoiding intercourse if your partner is experiencing an outbreak or has unusual redness or sores on their genital. A condom also reduces the risk of infection.